Hey guys, and welcome to a item guide for the cycle Shock Absorber. This item currently has a weight of 6 and can stack up to 10 per stack, and has a K marks value of 759 to the traders. And now, where to find the item? Starting off in Bright Sands, the parking lot and dig site area is one of the best locations. Same as the Swamp Camp down on the south, as well as the Crashed Drill site just west of the East Collection Point is another great location. Over on Crescent Falls, the Starport area is of course one of the best locations. Same as the Green Prospects and the Lakeside building that's just south of the Green Prospects. Now, for me personally, the best locations I had on Bright Sands was at the Science Campus, as well as the Dig Site. And then over on Crescent Falls, I had a great location with the Starport Landing Area, so the Starport Area, as well as Green Prospects. Those do seem to be the best locations in total. Now, for where the item spawns, it can spawn inside of dumpsters, as well as hidden stashes that are Tier 1 and above. And now, on to the crafting. Starting off with the MKM Ultra-like stock. You are going to need 8,000 K marks, one shock absorber, and two Kotec multi tools. Then, onto the ultra light stock, you're going to need 8,000 K marks, one miniature reactor, and one shock absorber. On to the auto loader now, you're going to need 7,700 K marks, five aluminium scraps, five hydraulic pistons, and one shock absorber. And now, on to the tasks. Starting off with the ICA, back to basics part 3, you are going to need 20 metallic alloys, 12 hydraulic pistons and 5 shock absorbers. On to Korolev with shock and ore, you're going to need 3 shock absorbers. And then over with the ICA again with recoil compensation, you're going to need 2 shock absorbers and 12 compound sheets. And then ending with personal quarters. With the generator, the supply crate, the fifth upgrade, the second one out of the two, you are going to need 33,867 K marks, one shock absorber, and 14 magnetic field stabilizers, as well as 26 ICA scripts. Then, with the seventh upgrade, the first out of two, you are going to need 84,545 K marks, you're going to need six shock absorbers. 8 Kotec multi tools and 58 ICA scripts. And then on to the stash size, the 6 upgrade, the first out of 3, you are going to need 53,515 K marks, 9 meteor fragments, 2 shock absorbers, and 38 Kovalev scripts. And of course, don't forget to check out the cyclefrontier.wiki. This is the official Wikipedia for anything to do with the cycle. On the left here, they've got all the standard kind of information. So you've got all the gear, how to craft it, all the wonderful stuff. Over to the right where it says companion sites, you have the interactive map, item tracker, weapon calculator, and loadout generator. And they're also developing an app at the moment. So in this case, we're going to click on the interactive map and then type in shock absorber, which we've done just here. And if we click on the little searching icon, you can see right here, these are all of the spawns for the shock absorber. You can see that it says 37 here. If you actually click on that itself, it will zoom in and you can see it's got all of the containers that are dotted around as well as the hard spawns as well. You can always submit a screenshot as well if you would like, you know, to show people a bit more. And of course, Science Campus has got a insane amount of spawns down here as well. Of course, if you can, you can always check out Crescent Falls as well. Just by this, you can see right here that Crescent Falls does have some decent spawns, just like so. And you can also click just below here. There will be my video below this about where it says Wiki Link. It will actually take you directly to the Wiki page where it can show you all the stuff that you need, so the crafting and the jobs and requirements and general information about the item as well. I hope you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe. And also, don't forget to check out the Twitch channel. I live stream every single day over on twitch.tv slash piranha at 7 a.m. GMT, which is around about 2 a.m. EST. Also, do not forget to check out our Discord as well as the website, thecyclefrontierhelpline.com, as we do have a huge community which is dedicated to helping you guys over on the Discord. As well, don't forget to check out the official cycle wikipedia which is the cyclefrontier.wiki they do have loads of information as well as a mini map as well as item trackers as well as a huge amount of resources over on there so definitely go and check them out 
And a huge thank you to the Patreons supporting this channel over on patreon.com slash piranha tv. And especially a big thank you to Beansy, Freddy and Justin ASDF for your continued support.